Howdy, YouTubers. I'm gonna come at you with a video real quick. I'm gonna try for the fourth time. <laughs> phone rings, alarm on my phone goes off, just different things, so. But I really wanna get this out there to you. If you're like me, most of us in the U.S. has got warnings of another storm coming in. Uh, I'm in East Kentucky, and uh, we've had really strong winds. Uh, actually, yesterday, the winds were so strong, we had uh, some uh, major uh, power lines crossing the highway about seven, eight miles down the road from me. The winds knocked them right off the poles, took out the electric of a school, couple of uh, gas stations, a lot of houses. Uh, I don't know if they've got it back up and running yet. I really couldn't tell you. I hope they do. But uh, I just figured, you know, with all the weather, storm, snow, ice, and everything coming, it'd be a good, perfect uh, time for me to make this video. I uh, hope everybody's all right, and hope you got your candles out, your flashlights, and your blankets, and your little buddy heaters. Just uh, get ready and get prepared, because, you know, it might be you, it might not. Uh, check on your neighbors. But uh, me and my wife have to go out of town for uh, about four days. Perfect timing when the storm's coming. And uh, we've got our two freezers and two refrigerators. And they're stockpiled full. And uh, if, if you're a poor working person like us, food's high. And I don't want to lose my food while I'm gone. So I told my wife, I want to put my generators in UPS mode while we're gone, uninterrupted power supply, and uh, I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Just bear with me here. This is my dining room. There's my full-size refrigerator, full-size freezer. As you can see, it's running. You can probably hear it. Well, I've got my anchor in here. Anchor 767. That way you can see that it's on. And I've got it hooked up to these two in UPS mode. And I'm going to explain to you what that is. Let's go in here. There's my double door refrigerator. I've got my Enor hooked up to it in UPS mode. And here's my other deep freezer stand up. And I've got my Ocotel hook up, hooked up to it in UPS mode. And if anybody follows my channel, you know that in my bedroom I've got a table and all my generators and I can just run them from there. But the reason I'm doing it like this is because if I, as, like I do during the day and just about every day, I run both refrigerators and both freezers off of one generator in my bedroom there. And uh, the thing is, it'll drain that one battery quicker than if I separate the batteries. So that's why I've got this one here, the dining room one, or the uh, pantry one there, and then my anchor in the dining room. So the anchor's running these two. The Enor's running this one, refrigerator. And then, of course, my Ocotel is running that deep freezer. Well, that way they'll last longer if the power goes out. I mean, this little Ocotel could probably run this freezer, honestly, for about 15 to 18 hours, might hit 20, I honestly forget. But uh, it, they're all in UPS mode, under, uninterrupted power supply. And uh, as you can see, the light's on, it's running. <clears throat> the input is on the top, which is 92. Output is 92 on the bottom. And why that is, is because I have my battery, a solar generator, plugged up to the wall on my grid power. And then I took my deep freeze record and plugged it up to my battery, to my generator. And what this is doing, the electric's coming literally through my battery and right into my freezer. The grid power is running my freezer. All right. Let's say two in the morning, 
tree falls on the power line and we have no power and I'm not here. Well, within 10 to 15 milliseconds, that's less than a second. A second is 100, so 10 to 15 milliseconds. This right here will kick on and it, it, it senses that the, there ain't no power coming from the wall. So 10, 15 milliseconds, it kicks on and it's running the freezer now. And it'll run it continuously, either until the battery goes dead or the power comes back on to the house. And when the power comes back on to the house, let's say five hours later, the power does come back on, they fixed it, 10 to 15 milliseconds, it clicks back over. The grid power is just coming through here and running my uh, freezer. Plus, it'll charge this back up to 100%. So it's an emergency backup. And I can show you real quick, if you bear with me, I'm just holding the phone with my one hand, so I've only got one free hand. I'm gonna open this. Right there, you can see the light on. It's running. You can probably hear it. All right, it's running. And over here, where the light's on now, you can see it's using 116. Right over here, or excuse me, over on the other side is the power coming from the wall to my generator. Now again, right there's the light. Right here's the power. I'm gonna pull this out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the light, right, the camera right there. Watch the light when I pull this. One, two, three. Do you see that? It dimmed, but it's running. Right there, it's coming from the wall into my generator. I unplugged it. See, if you can see now, the input from the wall is zero. Output from my battery to my freezer is 104. My battery is running it now. So there you go. And now when I plug this back up, if I can see. There it went. There you go. So that's what I'm trying to tell you about the UPS system. You don't have to be here. It'll work all by itself. And as long as this thing's got juice, it'll keep running the freezer and uh, until the power comes back on or it goes dead one. So when I leave, I've not got to worry as much. You know, I'm hoping within three to four days when I come back, you know, the power never went off. But if it did, it, do, it ain't off so much that my battery goes dead. And again, my other one's right here. Same thing. It's just in sleep mode. And I'll show you on this one. You can see the lights on right there if I can yeah that door will stay open without trying to shut on its own and right here again it's coming through the wall into my generator and powering my freezer and I'm going to unplug it right here and you can watch it there's your input on top output on the bottom now watch this one two three see there now my battery is running my freezer, refrigerator, excuse me. See right there. Now I'm gonna plug this back up, but I want you to see. Watch it kick back on. Right there it goes. That is UPS. So I just want y'all to understand that. But uh, so while I'm gone, at least I've got more of a peace of mind that I won't lose my food. But uh, this uh, Enor and my Ocotel in the pantry there, they should run the freezer and refrigerator right here, honestly, for about 18 to 21 hours, 22 hours, maybe. 
Uh, I'm not really for sure on that, but I always do my testing, uh, usually on that refrigerator right there. But, uh, and I've done all four of them. That's what I've done my a uh, couple of videos ago, my uh, efficiency test. I run all three or four of them, but uh, I've never just done this refrigerator on one, you know, and then use the other one on another because you just get mixed up because they all use different power. But I'm sure I can get 18 hours. I'm sure of that on this one and my Ocotel. And my anchor here, it should be able to do both of them. I would say a good easy 13 to 15 hours. So, like I said, it's just a precaution. And uh, just wanted to explain what UPS mode was. If you do buy a solar generator, highly recommend making sure it's got the UPS function. And pass-through. Pass-through is where you can use it running a refrigerator or whatever, plus hook solar up to it and you can charge as you're using. So pass through and UPS. But I just figured this is a good prime example to show you what I was talking about. And I hope you enjoy the video. And again, stay safe out there. Watch your elderly neighbors that's near you, check in on them. And uh, me and my wife, we're gonna be leaving soon. And right here is another battery bank I got, solar. It's got four panels, but I always take these on a trip because uh, you just never know, it could break down. I might get up there and lose power in a motel, but it's got your USB and USB-A, but uh, charge your phones up. It's got a flashlight. You can lay your phone right there, charge it, but uh, they're just handy, different kinds, but uh, you need to get you one of these. I think this one here is a pretty good thick one. It's a real good one. I wouldn't say I give like 22. I got it on, had one of them bids on it on eBay. Regular, they was like $45. I think I got this for like $21, $22, which was a steal, tickled over it. But you can get the other ones like I showed on my other video, nine to 15 bucks. And you know, they work just as good. This one just has a bigger battery. But uh, just get your candles out, get your, uh, if you got oil lamps, get them ready, matches, whatever. Just get prepared, flashlights, blanket, you know, toboggan, heavier clothes, case the power goes out, you know. Again, check on your elderly neighbors. You know, they might need to come to your home where it's warm, their power might be out. But uh, hey, I just wanted to run this by you, give you a little quick look at it. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you got any questions. I hope everybody stays safe. When I get back, I'll try to make another video. But uh, hey, God bless. Take care of yourselves and be careful.